10 yesterday. I haven't slept since. It's been a long night and day and night for these two. So the snow drifts are a little bit of a killer. Hours out in the fierce, at times blizzard conditions. Well, it's been pretty rough, you know, with all this wind here blowing the snow around. It's a little, the visibility is a little tough. But while many of us are at home, nice and cozy, there are crews like this zipping back and forth all over the place and doing it with a little humor. You can see it's a little chilly too. <laughs> and a smile. That's because all this snow is just like white gold. So for us, when we have the ability to make that extra money, it's always nice. Day the snowflakes are like dollar signs flying. But don't think it's an easy payday for those in the snow removal game. Long hours in the grueling conditions isn't for everybody. Those who do it naturally develop a strategy. Yeah, it's basically we're just trying to keep up on it, you know, before we get um, stuck, you know, so just taking off the few inches that are coming down at a time and then going to another place and just kind of doing our rotations and figure out what keeps them going. Coffees help a lot. Keep the window rolled all the way down so you can get that cool air and keep yeah. you awake. <laughs> I see you got a snack there too. Yeah, I actually finished those. <laughs> Nutty Buddy Bars are the best. <laughs> peanut butter, gotta have peanut yeah. butter. To get the job done. Be chipping yeah. away at it for a while. Yeah, probably sunrise. I, I think that's probably about time I'll be heading to bed. We got to say thank you to all of the crews out there. Hopefully Corey and Gage and all of the rest of the crews get some rest after they've carved all of the paths for us and piled up snow like this one after this storm and before the next one hits. Live in Augusta tonight, Morgan Sturdivant, WMTW News 8.